I first met David uh, back in 1961, and this sort of s just made a switch in my life. And in that moment, I thought there's got to be more than just being a fitter and raising a family. So I started to paint. And uh, after the first year, there was a competition held by the local urban district council, Eston Urban District Council, an art competition over to artists from worldwide. And David said to me, he got this position uh, on board uh, cargo ships, merchant navy ships, and he would set up a little studio, teach the passengers and crew art, and see the world. Which I thought was a great life. I was very, very envious of him uh, doing this job, you know, the, the job he loved and seeing the world at the same time. David painted this picture on his very first sea voyage after he got the job with the College of the Sea. Over in the right side of the picture is representation of the South Bank that he was leaving when he went to sea. And at the left of the picture, and the speculates that when he comes back, this will be gone and replaced by high-rise housing. And on this picture, there isn't a single bird flying. So you can see that, you can see which type of sort of um, environment David preferred. And this is the future which he feared was going to happen. Not many people sort of um, at that time were predicting that it was heading in that sort of um, kind of direction. Um, most of the, these kind of developments have now been demolished. It's a statement in itself. David's style of painting is, uh, is very, very different. It varies immensely from painting to drawing to sketch to what I call it a pastel. He used almost every medium and he was a master of every technique. He could go from very, very detailed, almost uh, photographic drawings, very finely detailed and marvelously uh, good to look at and uh, you'd appreciate the draftsmanship. And then the next thing, he might be in this uh, very emotional mood where he would paint broad, heavy, powerful, emotional strokes, very loose, impressionistic. So his style is hard to pin down. And uh, that was probably the strong point of David. He could adapt to any subject matter. He was the sort of person that if you met him, you would feel at ease in his company. Even though you didn't know him, you were a stranger, he made you feel at ease. He made you feel as if uh, he was interested in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this, it was a gift, you know, where he could put people uh, at ease and relax in his company and enjoy him as a person. He lived in a caravan for quite a while. And then he moved into a little cottage in States, where he eventually died of uh, cancer of the throat. And it was very sad, really. But I thought, this can't go on. So I, I, I've spent four years tracking down his work, putting online in a gallery I've got on the internet, which all culminated in this exhibition here. And uh, with Pete's help, Pat, uh, we've got the book up and running as well. So I feel now that at least his life and his work isn't forgotten. And I feel sort of vindicated and I'm happy now that I've done my bit for David.